and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Zquerro and today we are going to be talking about this question I found in the ROS answers forum, which says problems with lower levels. So I'm going to be building a, an example in order to show how to work with logs, how to change the log level in code. And yes, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy in the video description. Now, yes. Let's start with the video. So first of all, I'm going to close this. And then let's see here this user, Marcos, says, uh, Hello everyone. I have one note and I would like to put ROS info stream, but it doesn't appear in my screen. It works when I put ROS fatal stream. I know that I can change in RQT lower level, but I must put it working in the code because I don't have enough time to change it after it start. Sorry for the bad English. Thanks. So, yeah, basically he has some problems working with the logger level, so what I'm going to do is, as always, I'm going to open RDS. There we are, and now I'm going to create a new project, which I'm going to call logger QA, let's say. So let's create this new project. And in here, I'm going to build a very simple example in order to, to work a little bit with uh, logs and with the logger levels. So let's open our new project, the logger QA. And let's wait a few seconds until the wall environment is loaded. Okay, there we have it. Excellent. So yeah, let's first of all open a shell and the IDE. So here I have my ID and my shell. Then what I'm going to do is to basically create a new package in the Catkin workspace. So let's create a new package, uh, logs test, let's say, and I'm going to add that as a dependency ROS CPP because the user it's working with CPP. Yes, because in CPP you use these uh, streams. So yeah, here I should have now my my new package, logs test. Excellent. And then in the source folder, I'm going to add a new file, which I'm going to call logs.py. Ah, uh, sorry, .cpp, of course. Then inside here, what I'm going to do is to copy a code that, had, that I have prepared. I'm going to show now. It's very simple. So here it is, yes? So as you can see, it's a very, very simple simple code. I'm doing some basic imports of the stdlib, ROS. Then I'm opening my main function. Then let's go here. Here I am starting my node, uh, the, the node handle and the node, which will be named look demo. Then I am also defining a loop rate of 0 0.5 seconds so of two hertz and then finally I have here a loop an endless loop because this condition will be always met until someone stops the program by control C for the, for instance then here I just have some some message like the ROS debug, ROS info, ROS warn, ROS error and ROS fatal yes different uh, messages for different lock levels five lock levels and this will be, it will repeat until I express, uh, until I specifically stop the program, yes? Then here what I have is basically a snippet of code that what does is to change the level of the logs. So for instance here I am setting it to debug, yes? Then if I set the log level in debug, I will be able to visualize all the log messages, yes? Because the debug is the lower level, yes? The fatal is the higher. So, for instance, if I change this log level 
to error, let's say, then I will only be able to see the error and the fatal. Yes, understood? It's very simple. So let's save our code. Let's, uh, let's compile it. So let's add this to the semic lists. Okay, here we are. So let's first of all add executable and uh, let's name it logs test node. And the code is logs logs CBB. Okay, there we are. Let's also modify here the dependencies. So it's logs test. There we are. And finally, to link the libraries. Okay, sorry. There we are. So let's compile our package. Let's see. Sorry, there must be some kind of error here. Okay. Yeah, it's lux test without the node thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we are. So let's recompile. Now, yes. Then, meanwhile, what I will need to do is to create a launch file as well. So here I'm going to generate a new line file, which I'm going to call logs test dot launch. And let me switch this to XML. Okay. Yeah, this has finished compiling, great. So let's come back here to the ID. Now here, uh, what I'm going to do is to generate a launch file in order to redirect the output to the screen so that I can see all these log messages. As you can see here, I'm doing this, output to screen. Then let's see the node's name. It was log demo. The type is logs cpp. It's logs test. Sorry, is the name of the executable logs test, and the package is logs test as well. Yes. So yeah, we are ready. So let's try our our code. So I'm going to launch my launch file. Logs test. Oops, sorry. Logs test. There it is. Logs test dot launch. And here I can see my messages. So I have the this is a debug message, info, warning, error, and fatal. So I have here my five messages. Yes, let's just stop this. My five levels of uh, logs, which are the fatal, the error, the warning, the info, and the debug. Here I have it. Yes, so for instance, what I am going to do now is to modify the log level to error so that I will only visualize the error and the fatal messages. I won't be able to visualize anymore the debug, the info, and the warning messages. Yes, 
So let's come here to the Lux CPP and here let's put error. Let's save our file. Yes, so here, as you can see, I have changed debug for error. Then let's recompile the file. I will need to recompile it in order to take these changes. So there we are, it has compiled successfully. So now let's relaunch again my launch file. And as you can see, now I am only visualizing the error and the fatal messages. Yes, so this is how it works, it's very simple. Depending on the log level you set, you will be able to visualize that log level and the higher ones, but not the lower ones. So in this case, I, am, I have set the log level to error, so I am just able to visualize the error and the fatal. If I set the log level to fatal, then I will only be able to visualize the fatal messages. And for instance, if I set it to info, I will only be able to visualize the info, the warning, the error, and the fatal messages. Yes, but not the debug ones because it's a lower level of log. Yes? So, yeah, that's it. I hope you've liked the video, you have learned a little bit more about logging, about log levels and how to use them. And if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Now yes, goodbye and see you in the next video.